Hello, this is Stefan Landerfer from C Quality. Today I want to show you a short video about the topic Can you use the hardware decoder of the iMac 6 to improve video streams? So at first I want to give you an overview of our test setup. So we use an iMac 6 quad core module here uh, that is connected to a full HD display here on this side. And we have here the Oleco IP camera that we use for generating video streams. And we will also use a PC that is located here to um, generate a video source for this iMix 6. The iMix 6 will render the video stream here with this HDMI connected display. This is a cute application that we made for this test purpose where can we can configure the most basic um, things for this video. So at first the question is okay hardware decoding for video streams on the iMix 6. Does this work? What was our situation so far? Our situation so far was that we used the software video decoder so this means that all of the video stream had to be processed by the general CPU. So what was the situation here? So we had about seven and then a half frames per second. So here 30, 30 frames per second would be ideal, but we only had seven and a half frames per second. So this is quite low. We also had about 260 milliseconds latency. So this is quite big. And we had a CPU load of 80%. So the orange, uh, the orange um, bars are all the software renderer figures. So yeah, now the situation was, how does this work with the hardware decoder? So um, we can say, okay, let's just try it out, how this works. So Michael, um, <laughs> by the way, uh, just um, yeah, apply the video stream. So now the camera, is streaming the Olaco video stream here to the iMac 6 and this is rendered on the device here. As you can see, it's very smooth. It's very smooth. It has a very fr high frame rate. It works uh, very well. So, but um, we have done the measurements as well here. And we, uh, here now you can see the, the figures. So again, the orange bars is all the software decoder. And here you can see frames per second with hardware decoder, you, we reach 30 frames per second. This is perfect. Latency only 40 milliseconds. This is also very, very good because uh, if you want to use it in automotive situations, you want to be below 200 milliseconds. So compared to the software renderer, this is a very, very good improvement and uh, you have left quite a big headroom and yeah, this is very good. And CPU load also is very good. So with the software renderer, we had 80%. With hardware renderer, we only have 30%. So quite good, very good setup. So, but um, this was just um, one part of our measurements. We also wanted to see, okay, how can we improve the video uh, compression rate? Can we also use a different codec? As you know, the Olaco camera supports different modes for video compression. So um, there's not just MJPEG supported. Uh, the Olaco camera also supports uh, H264 compression, video compression. And with this tool that we wrote by ourselves, we can uh, reconfigure the Oleco camera uh, for different modes. So Michael just uh, reconfigure it to use it uh, for H264. So and in theory, we should be able to decode the stream with a bigger buffer. But as you can see, the video is not very well. Okay, so you have to set a bigger buffer size here so that uh, H264 um, decoding works with the hardware decoder here. 
um, but yeah, it's uh, there's a few frames per second. It's the performance is very poor here, as you can see on the video. Um, yeah, um, should that's not good. <laughs> so um, there's obviously a problem with the H264 streams on this setup here. So in order to identify where the problem is, we said, okay, uh, let's just not use an Oleco camera as a video source that delivers a video source with um, a, net a network cable to the iMix 6. Let's use a normal PC. And you have configured a video streamer here on this um, yeah, setup here on this PC. Yeah. And uh, we have chosen the the famous uh, Big Buck Bunny video that's available open source in on the internet to uh, render it. And now you will start this video over the PC. Okay, so what we can see here is a video stream from this PC that is sent via network cable to the iMix 6. This is full HD with H264 compression. So as you can see, it works very well flawlessly. I would say it's 30 frames per second here as well. It's full HD on this display. And of course, this only works if you use the hardware decoder um, of the iMix 6 here. And yeah, so with this setup here, we said, okay, obviously there is something wrong with the H264 encoded video stream from the Olaco camera because if we now switch over again to the Leica camera, we get this stuttering video. If we switch over to the PC, we have this uh, very fluid um, 30 frames per second video. So there's something incompatible or wrong with the uh, video stream that is sent from the Oleco camera when you're using H264. Yeah, so this um, can be said here at this point, but also in this case, we also did the measurements and we'll give you a short overview of what we found out here. So the first thing that we can see here is we did um, measurements concerning latency as well. So very in-depth uh, measurements. And yeah, um, all in all that you can see here is that MJPEG is always best for low latency. So it doesn't matter here, you can see MJPEG. It, do, it doesn't, doesn't matter which resolution you take, you always get latency way below 50 milliseconds. So in most cases it's 20 milliseconds only here, for instance. And with H264, you always have about 200 milliseconds, no matter which resolution. And also here. So um, this is the first finding that we found out here. The second finding, yeah, is H264 latency is always about 200 milliseconds. And the third finding is, if you want to have low CPU load, the bandwidth that you send over the network is the crucial factor. So here, there are the figures for the CPU load. The more bandwidth you have, you generate on the network with your video stream, the more CPU load you have. So what you want is that you use a video stream, whether it's MJPEG or H264, that has a low network bandwidth and sends it over to the iMix 6. Then, uh, yeah, you're getting a fluid a video stream with a low CPU load here on the iMix 6. Good, so I think that's it. Um, once again, I will now summarize it. Um, so the first thing is hardware video decoding works with iMix 6 here, we've shown you today. Um, it 
works especially well with M JPEG into a Leica camera. With H264, there, there is some kind of weird problem. And if you want to have low latency on a video playback of the MX6, the M JPEG codec is somehow better than uh, H264 um, because it shows way lower latency on our tests. So thank you very much. Thank you, Michiel, thank for you. doing all the measurements. And see you next time. Goodbye.